Okay, to create a lighting, let's have a few options. First, we need analyze. So this is kind of like bay for the starship. Maybe people a little bit smaller. So I want to add the dimension. Even in space, you not necessarily have it haze, but this is tunnel. I want to add some of the light haze or pollution so it will create this distance look for me. So let's take my main camera first and I want to bring a little bit down and look up. So we have it about maybe around this preview, maybe around here. So you can adjust play overall. And right here we have a kind of exit. So I want to do it's take a main camera, take a hunger and a hunger and just move it up and slightly maybe rotate up. The reason why I'm doing this, you see now my land is gone. So if I want to do something, maybe put a big moon or something on the end and we can do this right now. This is ground won't be here. And again, for us, doesn't matter which way we're pointing because we will go relatively floor of our um, hangar here. Okay, so this is preset and let's work with lighting. Right here, I can see the opening door and it will be interesting to make lights inside. Let's create one of the um, quadratic light and I'm going to drag and place inside this tunnel. You can see right here with, so we can put it in kind of inside this doorway so i want to be here and light away of course it's very very strong so let's go to put it five reduce down and almost all the time i will enable volumetric light because it will produce this ray of the lights the white light is nice but it does not provide this um beautiful coloring schema for me so we'll go to edit and we'll go to use maybe some blue sandish kind of color for this so a little bit coldish, cold kind of light, um, light produce. Next, we need to add dimension. So one, we can produce, put it lights above the camera from top to highlight a little bit this area. Or we can put it also right here, just below the deck. So it's give it lights on top. So for this, what I want to do, it will just hold down Alt key or Option key click drag on this light and repositioning so we can bring a little bit below the deck the reason why i'm doing this so i can save a little bit time on the properties so i don't need to modify properties for everything you can notice i put it right below it's a little bit less so we'll increase lighting how's it going and it's still be a little bit darker because i think I need to place a little bit more around here. So yeah, it start kind of give it us this beautiful lighting going from down below. Okay, let's go take this down to maybe even four. So we don't want overwhelm, but we start creating painting with this light supplying here. Um, next, let's create a new lights. And I will take this all the way to the back up. Um, one thing about lights and when you create, so here's our normal light. Let's put it in the middle and we'll go set this maybe to about 20. You notice it just highlights on the image. So it is nice when it's not volumetric. We don't see single singularity points. As long as we enable volumetric, now we can see the source of the lights. And in some cases it's nice, but in mine it hiding some elements so I don't want them. So I'll take this one and usually I kind of try to hide them maybe behind to create those lights coming in a race so it's not necessary. We'll have this strong lighting but right here on the back. And with some lighting we need to also look on the complementary colors. So the cyan and warm one Usually they work very well together. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm select some cyan colors here and a little bit warmer or reddish right there. And you can see they're complementing each other very well. Um, okay, as we're adding lighting, you can see our scenery start having a little bit more and more character to this. Okay, and next, um, we could create just tunnel long enough 
and in some case more lights probably right inside and let's do this so right here this our bottom light i will select again alt or option hold down press left mouse key in drag and this is will actually duplicate it our uh, lights so now as i'm moving you can see right here we on preview it's uh, start lighting up and sometimes we need to bring a little bit higher so because we leave it on an angle right there we have a little bit highlights okay let's go take this same light same trick we're going can we move a little bit more far and bring right maybe around that area so we have it kind of like these highlights going down the deck so now we're adding dimensions notice they're all um millimetric materials so they're all adding this haze okay next let's create one more light and we'll put it this light somewhere maybe around this area this is will give it us light on all tunnels again it's very strong so we'll go down to five because close to us set to volumetric and you can see it's create this little bit light pollution for us and let's add this color go more to the red kind of more alert warning type of there so right here you can see how it start adding nice shadowing right there and again it's complementing so we can adjust bring closer which is make a little bit stronger okay and let's you know maybe too strong so i'll bring just a little bit on the side and we have a nice preview so i'm going to click and render preview and see what we have so far okay so our render is completed it took 41 seconds quite a bit fast and we can preview what we have so far you can see it's have a nice lighting we have a strong leds we can modify them if needed or add additional lighting and i'll show you in a second um how we can actually increase some of those lights as well effect from them and let's do this in the next um, portion of tutorials we'll work even more on modifying some of this lighting and maybe add something to the backdrop